everyone! So today I'm going to show you my Alice Hutch everything in it. Because it's quite dirty in here and it's very, very cluttered. So I want to organize this and clean it out. So I started doing this. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of dust. And then I was like, you know what? It might be cool if I just show everybody all my stuff as I go. So this isn't all of my Alice stuff. Just the majority of it. I have Alice kind of scattered all throughout my house. So sorry for the cards and Magic the Gathering over here. I was gaming with some people on webcam <laughs> during quarantine. But anyway, um, so this first thing is a Cheshire Cat mug that comes with a spoon. I got this in London a couple years ago. Absolutely love it. This is a vintage... Mad Hatter wooden little figure and Humpty Dumpty. I got this as a gift when I first started dating someone like a long time ago. Their um, aunt owns an antique store. This is another vintage Alice piece. This is Alice is a blown glass ornament. This is from Germany. This is from the 50s. And this is another antique piece. This was one of the first ones that I ended up buying myself when I was a teenager. That was like, you know, antique, not something I could get in the store. This is like, whoop, <laughs> white rabbit. Good thing it's not broken. <laughs> and Alice, these are some of the first um, souvenirs they had at Disney World, which was from the 50s or the 60s. And then a little March Hare from the Garden Center. We've got an Alice um, butter knife. That I use for cheese and crackers like all of my dishes that are in this hutch I use whenever I want even the mugs this is a flamingo I don't know if he's the Fantasia flamingo or the Alice one but I got that in Disney World Alice and her little drink me bottle I've had such bad luck with this ornament this is like my second Alice now in this because she falls and the plastic breaks my brother or my sister I can't remember which one I think actually it was both of them one of them got me the Funko Pop Queen of Hearts, and the other got me the Mad Hatter. And I love how he has still like his little sewing um, needle catchers on his fingers. This was from the Disney store. This is Alice with all of the flowers. Another um, older ornament. I think she's from the 90s. Got a Cheshire Cat in here with Holly. And this is a huge soup mug. Like, look how amazing and huge that is. Curiouser and Curiouser with the Cheshire Cat from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. This is from the Disney Store. This is from a Tokyo Disney Store. Love Alice. Oh, so sleepy and cute. This one was from the Disney Store as well. And I put these um, candy lollipops in here. Like, look at all the detail and everything going on. Sorry, I haven't done my nails yet. I'm actually debating on if I want to do French tip or if I want to do a blue with swirls. But I just haven't. I was just able to take off the old paint I had yesterday. So this Cheshire Cat, he was from a Disney store too. From Disney Park, actually. This one which my friend um, Yuri got me, and it says Tea Time in Paris. I'm pretty sure that he got it from the Disney Paris store or a thrift store because we like to thrift. This is a little coin bag he got me, a pencil he got me. Isn't that cute? And this is from the Alice shop in Oxford. I tried to go there, and the time that I went there, it was completely closed. A coin he got me. This is kind of like my, my Yuri mug. <laughs> Mm, more stuff from Yay. Keychain. Little Zoom Zoom wooden uh, Cheshi. I mean, look at that. Someone made it so, so freaking cute. Little Alice 60th anniversary Disney um, Land in Cali uh, pin. And this cute, cute keychain. This is a teapot my brother got me. On the first time he went to um, Disney World, I took him and he bought me this. I love it. 
Here's the other side, the Dormouse and the Mad Hatter. Then we have this pull-up doll. Um, she's one that was Alice inspired. So she's got a fork and a spoon and her little um, headband. And she is just adorable. She comes with a little purse, it's a tea um, cup, and this is her outfit. Like, I would totally wear this. It's all fairy K and adorable. Look at her little shoes. So then this cup, my mom got me when I was in middle school. And this one is old, old, old. This was from the Disney store. It is huge. This used to be my cho hot chocolate mug or my soup mug. And it's got Alice and the March Hare and the Bread and Butterflies. And the same thing on this side. And as soon as my mom saw it, she had to get it for me because I love the March Hare so much. All right, so the second shelf. Got this Queen of Hearts ornament from the Disney store. The King of Hearts. Jim Shore um, Queen of Hearts that my brother got me for Christmas. Then Alice ornament from the Hallmark store. The Cheshire Cat appears and disappears. A uh, Cheshire Cat, I'm sure, that I got for Christmas this year. A Alice little mini purse I've had since like middle school. Got a little white rabbit thimble. I like almost have this full set from the Hallmark store. This is another one from the Disney store that goes with the Queen of Hearts one. It's the Mad Hatter and the Dormouse. And there's one more to that set that I have, which is this triple uh, teapot with the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. Very, very cute with Holly. Then this Hallmark ornament with the Queen of Hearts. My mom got me for this for Christmas in 2018 when I was with her in Texas. And then we have this Alice on a mushroom ornament. It plugs in and the mushroom uh, lights up. Then we have this Dormouse teapot. It's from the ride. And it came with this, I got a Disney um, Land. It came with a couple teacups, got an Alice ornament in one, and here's the saucer for that. And then it also came with this teacup, which I have a Cheshire Cat in it, from the Disney Parks as well, and a purple plate. But if you noticed, these are actually the rides. So this is the Dormouse that pops up on the Mad Teacups ride. And the teacups are actually the doors that you get into and sit down on. I love that ride. A Christmas platter by Paul Cardew. This says, this is the most curious Christmas party I've ever been to, said Alice. I have the teapot that goes to this as well. But when I pull it out, I'll show you. I like to put... Um, like cheese and crackers and meats on this plate and olives. I have another piece by him, which was another Christmas Alice edition he did. This one is Alice and they're skating. It is a tea for one. So this is a teapot. Mad Hatter, Alice, the White Rabbit, Alice on the handle. Snowflakes everywhere. This is Burr. I'm late, I'm late. And then the cup itself has just the white rabbit on it and Alice still on the side. And then on this side is the Mad Hatter. I drink a lot of tea, so I like the tea sets for one. I have a Paul Cardew um, little spoon Alice set. So these all have different characters. And this is from his everyday Alice one. Take some more tea, said the March Hare. This is the most curious tea party I've ever been to, said Alice. 
And there's Alice in the Mad Hatter. And that has the suits on the little handle. Uh, this is kind of a old Cheshire cat. He actually goes with the Alice set that I showed you at first. This is a souvenir you could get way back in the day, in the 50s or 60s. Have the white rabbit that has little sticky notes. This is a triple teacup, um, teacup that was from the parks. This is new. Um, it says Mad Tea Party. Very, very cute. I haven't even gotten to use it yet. I have a Cheshire cat from my friend Tiffany. This was a Walt Disney collection, Alice in Wonderland. It was Brilling. So it's a collector's item. She got me this for my birthday, like 2017 or 16. He's really soft. I, I love his smile. And then we have one other teacup. This is the Cheshire Cat drawings. And inside it, I have a Cheshire Cat fuzzy pencil, Cheshire Cat ornament, which I showed in the last one, and that Alice um, blown glass ornament. So, all right, here's my dolls. These are all the dolls from um, Faithwick. So, Vestry um, doll collection. White Rabbit, Alice, Tweedle D, Weedle Dum, Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, March Hare, and the collection. If you bought the whole set, you got the Humpty Dumpty. This is my Madame Alexander Alice doll. She is freaking gorgeous. A uh, Pulips Classic Alice. And then the Alice Du Jordan. Uh, yeah. Jordan one, the limited edition mint one. And then this is stuff at the bottom, which I have to, you know, go through and organize. But I have the Alice in Wonderland snow globe. Alice in Wonderland one from the Disney store. The huge one from the Disney store. And this one I've had since I was a little kid. Alice in Wonderland, a Disney treasures plate. It was a collector's plate. Paul Cardew Creamer. You'll see me there. Said the cat. I also have the sugar bowl that goes with that. And then what else? The one of the cups that goes with that set. It's a mug. I have the little um, espresso cups that go to that with little spoons. So here's one. Here's the plate, and the other looks the same way. I have the devil egg tray that goes with that set. I'm trying to get the full set of everyday Alice from him. I used the deviled egg tray for Easter, so I'll be using it this Sunday. This is a Christmas um, tray that goes with the tea for one I showed you. A everyday Alice one by him. Love the March hair in this. He looks like crazy. Sleeping little dormouse. I have another cup that goes with that. But this is for Alice through the looking glass. So Alice going in through the looking glass with the Jabberwocky. Which I literally think that's the only piece I have that's a Jabberwocky piece. In it I have a little um, card pull-up guy. And a Alice miniature little pull-up doll. Are they cute? And then I have two pins. Um, one of them is Alice and the other is not Alice, but I thought it was cute. I'm going to have to move it. The other one is the Aristocats. I don't know if you can see it, but the cat like moves in it. The Alice one, she moves in it. With the Queen of Hearts. A little baby Alice in Wonderland cup. Very cute. I don't know who it's by. Um, I've got a Stife Mohair White Rabbit Limited Edition from Alice. Oh, I love this bunny. I wish I could sleep with it like all the time, but I don't want to ruin it. This Alice mug 
where the clock spins around. And then I have these trays, which my brother got me all of these. No, sorry. My dad and mom got me these to match the teapot that my brother got me. And I have another one with the Queen of Hearts and the Ma and the um Queen and the King of Hearts, but I used it for cheese for uh Valentine's Day. So it is dirty. Let's see. I've got the Christmas teapot I was telling you about that goes with the tray. They're all opening gifts and having tea. And Alice sends it, says again, this is the weird, this is the most curious tea party I've been to. The Tweedles are on this side with the Cheshire Cat. Then I have an everyday Paul uh, Cardew. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, teapot with Alice and the March Hare. She's setting on it. This goes with the set I'm trying to get. Queen of Hearts is on this side. This Cheshire Cat that hangs the Alice game set. I haven't done yet. And since this video is going long, I'll just show a couple more. This is a little kid's tea set that's old. My friend Rochelle got me it. I've got a little bento set of Alice tea. I have another tea in here. And I've got the um, doorknob. Some cheapy Alice pencil holder. Some more Alice ornaments. Um... More tea, another Alice ornament, some books, some makeup palettes. My drawers are stuffed full of Alice too. All of them. <laughs> and more dolls are in there. So one day I'll just have to like go through, do like a... So one day I'll have to just do a quick, you know, Alice through my house tour and show you my Alice that is absolutely everywhere in every single room. Almost every single drawer. <laughs> but as you see, this is supposed to be my Alice tea hutch for all of my Alice tea stuff. But I do put other things in it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you watching this. Bye. Happy quarantine. <laughs>